Hi there, it's Patmos, and nice of you to join me for episode 2, A Life is Feudal Forest Village. Let's go. Let's speed up a bit. Well, here we have our tiny little village that we started to build and expand, and well, that's what we're going to continue. Everything is running smoothly for now. All we need is an extra house. At some point, accommodate everyone. And of course, we need a few kids. But first, Lochlin needs to grow up, get to the age of three, so we can destroy that hut. Because I want to get rid of that hut, or shack, or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's called a shack. Here we have our nice village. We have one. Teen two teenagers age five, which means at some point they will join the workforce, which is great. And, well, it's quite snowy, so it's quite cold, even though it's early winter. But, yeah. We could really use a few extra hands. Now, for now, this is all we have. This is our village. But I'd like to expand inland... And then this will be the outside of the village. So what I'm thinking about doing is just build a row of houses. And then we'll delete these farms and put them on this side. And then we do like a box shape of houses. And in the middle there will be farms and all the industries that we need. So that people are always close by. If we build all the houses inside and then we do all the farms and, and the industries, they have to walk quite far. And if we want to expand again, then it can be quite tough. So I'm thinking about building these little boxes with houses. All the farms and industries in the middle. And if we want to expand, we just build another box. At least that's in my head right now. I have no idea whether that works or whether it's efficient, etc. But that's how I feel about it right now. And this is a good area if we want to do some trade and have a lot of fisheries, etc. So this is a good area we can use later on. Just not for now. It's still early winter, it's snowing quite a bit. And yeah, things look good. We have plenty of resources for the moment. We have two free villagers though. Let's see, what can we use? Well, we could use a bit of extra hay. So let's collect that, 12 hay to be collected right there. No hay to be collected here. Oh, there's a bit more. Why? Should we get hay? Well, we need quite a bit of hay to build new homes, etc. So it's very good if we can get that in quickly. Could also use a bit of iron. Oh, 57. All right, that's good. So at least these four will be above 100 if they're done with that. So that's good. Three people doing nothing or just collecting resources because Leandro has grown up. He can do some hunting. And if the other one grows up, Eleanor, then she, I guess, yeah, then she can do some extra firewood creating, because that's an important tool as well. Now we just need to wait for Lachlan to grow up, so we can close that shack. Now, it's very tempting to play speed 10, so we're going to do that for a little while, but not too long. And especially if your village gets a bit bigger, speed 10 might be a bit much to handle because a lot can happen. You really need to keep a close eye on all these stockpiles. So make sure that you don't go too fast and lose a grip over your village. But for now, this looks good. They're collecting the uh, hay that we selected. And soon they should start to collect all the ore. And as soon as that number goes over 100, we can select a few other things they can collect. Because that means that they've almost collected everything we appointed there. Still bringing in the hay, so that's good. Yeah, first ore coming in. Perfect. Are we getting any babies yet? No. But that's fine. Don't need to grow too quickly. 
or we will run out of food. Although, this time, we have quite a bit of food, so I don't really worry about that. And next year we can make these farms work, which is great. And I think the year after that we will have farms right here alongside the houses, and we have them ready. So we can get rid of these ones. Alright, Lachlan is now going to study. There's two people living here. There's plenty of space here. So I'm going to slow down. We're going to destroy this little shack. I want them in the houses. And yeah. We have another villager that's ready to work. Eleanor. So let's get some extra firewood going because, well, we need plenty of that. And now everyone is living in a house. We have room for four more, but we're already expecting one baby. So there's room for three more babies. And that's a good number. Because that means... Well, Afrin is four, so it takes a little while for her to get ready and join us in the workforce. But that means that even with three more babies, or four more babies in total, we won't be growing too fast. So yeah, I like it that way. Perhaps that also gives us time to start working on the farms that I want to use next year. How am I think thinking about doing that? Well, just do it like this. I've been doing some reading and I read that 10 by 19 is the ideal farm size. So let's build farms. 10 by 19. 1, 2. I think we can do with 3 be good at least for now then of course they need a well close by so we'll put a well here and of course at some point there'll be another farm in this area as well I mean we're going to build an extra farm here later on let's start construction perhaps even before winter is over we can start so we can destroy these because these are in the way of things like simple industry or maybe if we get a lot of fishing places here like fishing farms and these fishermen's lodges we also need a few homes close by so they don't have to walk that far it's a thing so yeah we are building a lot now but i think it's worth it now the barn is pretty far away so at some point we'll probably build a barn here as well which is also useful for all the food that we will be needing. You never have too much food. And if you have not enough food, you have a big problem. Alright, building the first farm. Perhaps I just need two builders, so it will be done quickly. That could work. Oh, they're putting in the resources for the well. That's also very good. Let's construct those farms. You expecting more babies? Yeah, two babies here. No babies here. So yeah, two babies expecting. That's good. There's always room for more, but at least it's a start. Now, if I have villagers that are idle, they should do that. Collect a few resources. Always do just select a few, so as soon as people have nothing to do, they will start to gather them. Especially in the beginning, I don't really have many free villagers, but you never know. Sometimes you forget to, to click something, or when you have things like a blacksmith and a kiln, if they are running out of resources, then they can just gather some stuff. It's always useful. This one's being built pretty quick. Let's hope they will start to build the next one as well. It appears they're really working in shifts. Oh, there they are. One leaves for home, then the other ones start to work. And it's almost done. Perfect. But this one should also bring more and more food. Yeah, 952. And these only bring in 770. So I think I should tell these two to be destroyed. Because they're not that useful, especially not if we have these. 
So let's just get rid of them. That's fine. Even with one field, we can survive because we have gathering hut as well and hunter and fisher. So we can get plenty of food. How many babies? One more incoming. Probably at the end of next year, we can build an extra house. Without running a risk of expanding too quickly, getting too much mouths to feed that don't bring in any food. Yep, this one's being built very good. Now, we should think, where sh can we get rid of people? Well, we can get one out of here, we can one out of hunting, we can get one out of fishery. So we have three people available to do farming stuff. Now, we only need one at the moment and two rather quickly. So we'll wait for the temperature to drop to like one degrees below zero. Then we can tell at least one and perhaps two that they need to find a different job. Hopefully they can get this done pretty quickly. Now oh, she's going to rest, so that's not helping. But yeah, it should be done rather quickly. I think temperatures will rise now. So we'll get this one out of there, put it into farming. And as soon as temperatures reach zero, which is now, she should get into work. Let's do the same here with the hunter. Yep, there we go. Let's set two potatoes. Well, that's good. This is going to work well. Two farms working now. With a high yield, even higher than this one, because these two had 770 each. So let's hope they can grow and harvest everything. And that should bring in quite a good amount of goods. Perhaps we should move this one later as well. That's one of the things if you... I mean, I'm still learning about this game, and I'm, I'm playing in my free time uh, a few different maps to, to try and learn what buildings do, what's sufficient, etc. And then I found out that I have to do quite a bit of moving every now and then because you learn new things and you're like, oh, well, I really want to put it somewhere else. So we might just move this one slightly over so we have more room for the barn, or maybe we won't. I, I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. At least they're building this field now. Which looks good. Perhaps we can already tell them that we want an extra barn. Let's check. Do we have the stuff we need? Yeah, we do. So that's nice. If we want to build an extra farm, which barn, it should be somewhere here. I guess this is the most ideal place if we want to build it, but that's not going to work. But if we do it here, I think we should build it somewhere. Well, maybe here. It's close enough, and if we expand and we get like two more farms here, then it's, it'll be nicely in the middle. So this could be a very good place, so they don't have to walk that far to get their goods towards the barn. Now, I do think that I would just like to flatten the ground here a bit more. Just to make sure that we can build it a bit closer to the fields. That's the thing I want. Well, this one's ready as well, and I'm going to put this one on grass. Not that we... Oh, we can actually get someone in right now. So we can get some extra hay, because hay is scarce on the map. So it is very helpful if you get a field of hay. And hay grows rather quickly, qu quicker than potatoes, so we should get a full field. Which gives us 500 hay, which is very nice. And those wells should really help to increase production. Because they don't have to walk too far to get a bit of water. Spread it out over the field. So that's a good thing. And what I've also read is if you get scarecrows, it should increase the yield of a field. So if I, for instance, place a scarecrow somewhere here, that actually should work to help increase the output of this field. So let's try that. There's one being built there. And one on this field. Now let's put it here. Let's get those scarecrows in. I'm really anxious to see how good it will work. Alright, destroying this. I don't think we get resources from it, but it would be very nice if at some point demolishing these buildings will give us resources. 
But it's okay. And it's gone. Perfect. Now we should work on that extra barn. Let's rotate it. Now we have to wait until this construction is completely done. Before that, we can't place it. So yeah, it's going to take time because it's chopping down trees. Let's wait with the barn a bit. I thought it would be ready, but that's not the case. Right, working on the grass. And like almost 2,000 potatoes. Oh, this all looks good. We are working the ground now. That's done. So, can we place the barn now where I want it to be? Yes, we can. Alright, well, with the bad weather, sometimes you really can't see what you're doing. It sometimes bothers me, but usually it doesn't. Alright, we can build a barn right here. Close to the fields, which is what I like. Where I want it to be, so yeah, let's build it. Ah, there comes the first scarecrow. It'll be nice. I wonder how it'll look. Here it comes. Here as well. It's pretty scary to me already. Big rainstorm, but that's fine. Well, that's a pretty scary scarecrow. Right, food reserves are low. We have, well, we have good amounts of food, so I don't worry about that. Alright, second, second scarecrow being built as well. I don't see these numbers go up, but I guess, uh, at least I read it should increase the yield of a field, but we'll find out. It looks nice, and it's kind of historical to have a scarecrow, so yeah, why not? Alright, they're going to construct that barn. Let's check our houses. Yeah, that's good. They're pretty... Yeah, well, with this baby they're full, so that's nice. And we don't have too many young kids. Efren should be ready to start working quickly. After that we get Lachlan. So... Could be time to get an extra house at some point. Well, let's put our free villager into gathering because I want to gather a lot of food for the next winter. Now the nice thing with these farms is we have three people working the farms. We get a lot of food from it and we get hay. And as soon as they're done with their field you can just unassign them from the field because they will only do another harvest next year and you can use them all winter for instance to do new buildings to get all the uh, gather all the things you want so don't be alarmed if you don't have any free villages right now because there's a whole winter period when I have three people available from just the farms and one more from the gathering hut that won't be working during the winter on their normal job and we can use them to Gather all the wood and stones and iron that we need. And hopefully quickly, of course, we get a lot of hay. Well, that goes pretty quick, so that looks good. Plenty of room here now to build a house, for instance. Now I should probably get rid of that well, because I don't... Well, we can keep it there, because for fire. But, hmm, not sure. Let's just keep it there when it's not in arms way or anything else, so yeah, let's not worry about it too much. Let's wait until our builder brings in new stuff and starts to build that barn. Right now, from this field all the way to that barn and back takes a lot of time. This should be shorter, and especially for these two, so it would be good if we could complete this before the harvest. Would be nice if Efren becomes an adult quickly. So she can help carry the goods there. Although I think, yeah, it's only 40 more stone. I believe they can carry 8 stones in a go. So 5 more walks and he can start building. Let's see. Yeah, 8 stone at one go. So that's good. And we still have plenty of stuff. Good amounts of firewood as well. Fishing, perfect. So 
little gathering hut doing all its nice work. Forest is large. Well, as soon as we get more people, we can just start to fill out those buildings. So we get steady streams of food and firewood and logs, etc. But that's all good. So although we only have a small village with three houses, I think we're doing okay. Just one more baby incoming. Do we have the resources now to build another house? Yeah, we do. Oh no, we need the hay, but that'll be there quickly, so that's good, yeah. So quickly we have all the resources we need for an extra house, so then I'll start working on that as well. Because that means we can grow bigger. Alright, we can put it down already, of course. I'll make these doors face this way. Yeah, that's for the best, I guess. Alright, let's put it down. All we need is a bit of more hay, but it'll come in from this field quickly. Or we can gather a bit, of course. Unselect what I already selected. So yeah, that's it. Perfect. And all we select now is a bit of hay. So as soon... Oh, there it is. Just do a little bit, yeah. As soon as this is done and our builder has nothing to do, he will gather all the supplies needed for this. And also get that extra hay that we need. I think we get some from this field quickly. Now, of course, you could start thinking, well, why build two barns? This one isn't even half full, but we're going to need a lot of storage space in the future. You want to store all the food you produce. At least I like to produce quite good amounts of food to never ever run a shortage or even come close to a shortage so we don't need a warehouse because you can see we can still put in lots of those goods but they're not as useful to have in bigger big quantities as these at least in the beginning of the game in the beginning of the game we can't have enough food there's no way you can say oh well i have enough food let's not do anything about it no 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 you always need food now the baby has been born, so our city is completely full now. 15 out of 15. We want jobs, so even if they all grow up, we can all provide them with a job. So yeah, this house should be built next. Well, this builder will start it, and Efren is ready to work, so she will start to gather some supplies and then bring them to this site as soon as the guy chopped down the tree. Let's wait until the barn is done. Yeah, it's time for harvest there. That's good. These have to go a little bit further, so that's even better. Yeah, the barn is done perfectly in time. Tool reserves are low. Yeah, that's a thing for the future. That's not for right now. It would be great if you could get tools, because, well, stone tools or primitive tools will give you a 20% bonus to what you're doing. At least a villager. High quality tools are 40%, and steel tools a 60% bonus. Which means if they are doing a job, it goes 60% faster, or easier, or whatever. So yeah, I like that. But that's for the near future. Alright. Bringing in all the resources to the house. There comes all the hay. That's very good. That's very good. Yep, they're bringing in the food. So apparently this one also has a better time right now because it doesn't have to walk that far. Now, of course, it means that our villagers sometimes have to walk a bit further to get the food they want because, well, if it's not put in this one, they can't get it. But as you can see, still a lot there, so that's not a big issue. And our potato field is also being harvested already. So, yeah. Let's bring in the food. I'm sorry, I had to cough, so I turned off the mic. That's why I turned silent for a little while. 
Well, here comes the next house. We can really use it. And of course, I can already hear some of you think, well, what about a school and all those kinds of buildings? Well, we'll get to that, but all in time. Chop down those trees. So I'm not going to build a school straight away. I will try to do that when I have like five houses or something, or maybe even a bit earlier, because it's very good to get a school to educate your people, because that will make them work more efficiently. But well, I can show you. A school is very expensive. We need 200 stone. Well, we have 36. So that's not going to happen anytime quickly. Of course, in the next winter, for instance, when all these guys have nothing to do, we will start to gather a lot of stuff. And hopefully, then we can, for instance, build an extra house or get an extra school or whatever. But for now, focus on bringing in the food and not trying to go too quickly. Because going too quickly can mean that you will suffer in the near future from food shortages or whatever and well that basically means that you can ruin your entire game and that's not nice so just have a little patience and everything will be fine all right they're already expecting a baby so that's good means more growth we only have one teenager now so it's five, so Lachlan will turn into a working guy soon, which means we have 11 people and soon to be five kids. That's okay, that's half of our people in children. But since we have space for more children, there could be more. However, it won't be too much of an issue because of all the food we are bringing in right now. That's good. If you're not bringing in these amounts of food, then don't think about the extra house so quickly. Right, three babies incoming. That's going quickly. But yeah, we're prepared. We can handle it, I think. And hope. <laughs> Alright, they're bringing down the trees. So I guess we should tell them to bring in stone now then. Because we also need quite a lot of stone. Let's do some stone from this area and some stone from this area. Well, there's not too much stone here anymore. We already gathered quite a bit, I guess. But we're also coming up on 30 minutes. So I'll give you guys a nice shot. Well, this is not too nice. Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, there it is. Well, this looks good. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. That'll be a big help and support for me. If you have any tips or things you want to see in this game, please comment in the comment section. I'll respond to it. And I greatly appreciate it if you have any constructive feedback or tips or whatever. I, I really enjoy that. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.